All right, hey, oh, hey. So, World Celebration 2019, uh, second place with Pure Sky Striker. Ended up getting second place, uh, lost to Guru Control in the finals, um, cause my desires, uh, cucked me and I did not draw two going second cards when I played going second. So I was kind of a sad boy, so anyway, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty great about how I did overall, so that's pretty good, uh, Striker did way better than I was expected, cause it turns out having three multi rolls is a good card. So let's just get to the profile. So we play 41 cards, by the way. It's a weird number, but we'll, we'll, we'll go along with this. We play three rays. Oh, shout out to OCG having Shatter Foil Rays. I wish I had 20 of Secret Rays, but we don't afford that. Uh, Triple Ogre. Ogre was a good card. Best card throughout the entire Best hand character throughout the entire because it did so much. It stopped everything. Um, and then two Ash because Ash is semi limited on the world's list, so that kind of sucks, but whatever. It's two Ash. We don't care. Uh, two Engage, two Widow Anchor. Um, these being at 2 are irrelevant. It does nothing. These being at 2, all they did was like, cool, I take out 2 cards and I put in 2 good cards. So it's irrelevant. These could be at 2 and it, did, it does not hurt the deck. Uh, best reason why this deck is still good for Worlds format, uh, 3 multi rolls. A hey, multi roll is still a good card in terms of A. Hey, so when you, when you can recycle everything, it's all good. Uh, 2 area 0, only need 2 area 0, didn't need anything else. And then that's it. So, yeah, so. Main deck is like seven monsters, cause on three of them only real monsters. So, this is Sky Strikes for play. One drone, one eagle booster, one shark cannon, uh, one jamming wave, one afterburner, and one Hercules base. So, just your standard one ups. Didn't need to play multiples of any of these, to be honest. Felt perfectly fine playing all these as one ups. Uh, next, we have a uh, to search the ray. Terraforming to search the the area zero, or we can search Mystic Mind. Mystic Mind is still a good card at two for a reason in world format. Um, never actually ended up seeing this. Actually, no, I saw one duel and one because of that, but didn't see for the rest of the day. That's, I was kind of sad. Um, I played the foolish package, so um, three goods and one metal plus region, so you're fine. Get your draws. Uh, three desires because we have no fear whatsoever because uh, because you don't care as long as you draw two cards that's all that matters. I mean. There are times where you do banish all your good cards, but but there is one duel where I ended up banishing both my Afterburns and Jebu, and I was a sad boy because of it. One duel where I banished both my Widow Anchors, but I still won either way, so it doesn't really matter somehow. So Desire is a good card. It says draw two cards, so that's pretty good. Uh, so we play 41 cards, and we play one Upstar Goblin because Upstar Goblin in a 41 card deck does not matter. It is irrelevant. It's literally the fact that this is a spell card, and it just adds another spell to your game, and it does. It just gives you another draw, so. Upstart Goblin in a 41 card, irrelevant. Just play this. Um, also, it's an easy side out target, that's pretty good. That's it for spells. Next, we play a good amount of traps. Uh, three imprints, because we, have, we need to play hand traps in this deck, because this deck needs hand traps. Uh, three summon them. It's probably the worst card threat throughout this entire format, or this weekend, or the fuck, this one weekend only format. Uh, only never came up, pretty much side out every game. We take these out and play stuff like uh, Effect Veilers or Call By. And then one Metaverse, because we only have one Metaverse. Uh, metaverse to search the Mystic Mine or we're at Area Zero, we need to. That's it for main deck. Uh, 41 cards, like I said. 41 cards. Uh, yeah, the only thing I would change is just the summon limit, probably. Didn't really. It's pretty garbage, I think we can sell for extract. Uh, one Kagari, because she's the best girl. Even though it's the same girl. Uh, three Shizuku to get, because Shizuku's a good card. Uh, triple Hayate's, because Hayate's a good card. Two kinds is kind of a somewhat okay card. It's okay. She does okay stuff. So, she 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 makes sure she doesn't she doesn't die. She makes sure you can cheese your way. So I think two is we play one Phoenix because back row cards are good are our thing. One heat up to steal cards, so we can continue link climbing. And then uh one link cream because uh, you can make this off the token, so that's pretty good, I guess. That's pretty nice. Then then gears to deal with any spooky monster you're pulling something up. Playing as Necros in one of my matches, uh, he summoned that that Cerulean Firebird Phoenix or the fuck, the Link Monster, that makes it like really big and makes it can't be targeted or destroyed by card effect. Nigusu doesn't care, Nigusu gets rid of that. Uh, one Unicorn, because Unicorn's a good card to have, and a Moral Sword, which I never made, but you can just have it, to be honest, just to be honest, just to have. And then for uh, Psyduck for the weekend, for the week, uh, two uh, raw spear modes just in case we go against combo. Did not go against eight combos, that's pretty good. Pretty toss we're going second. Mining trust we're going second. Uh, probably main D's to be honest. Uh, three twin twister for back row decks. Uh, never saw these twin twisters. Pretty sad boy about that. That guy sucks. And then evenly just for any random ass rogue deck we play against. Uh, we play against a lot of rogue, random ass rogue decks, but we never saw evenly in any of those. That kind of that was weird. That was that was random. Yeah. So 
Yeah, so if anything, probably put the call by the main deck and take out the sum of it. Some of it uh, oh, fucking sucks. I thought it was good in theory and practice. Throughout the weekend, in case if you go against Thunder Dragon or Salamander, you're just like, nope, stop. But we didn't play against any of them this weekend, so that was weird. So I can't really tell you how it, how it ended up performing because we didn't play against Salad. Ironically, so that was really weird. I didn't play against Thunder Dragon, so that's really weird. Playing against a lot of Rogue Deck and pretty much playing against Rogue Deck throughout the entire throughout the entire day. So that was that was that was weird. Uh, that was pretty weird. You had to play around stuff, and yeah, like I said, two Widow Angel, two more does not hurt the deck whatsoever. You can still play the deck. It's pretty good. Um, all it does is just give you more space to put more cards in, and then just gives you cards to side out and everything. So uh, pretty satisfied. Uh, second place. Yeah, yeah, me. Got cucked because uh, Desires vanished on my the uh, destruction card versus Guru, which was, that was kind of sad. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I have to say. You know, K thanks bye. Thank you.